Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about some basic concepts in mechanics of materials. In almost every exercise we will encounter some types of forces. This is the first basic term I will briefly explain. Uh, forces can be classified according to several criteria, but for now we will focus only on the way the force is applied on a structure. Applying this criterion, there are uh, concentrated forces, where the force is applied uh, at one point, perpendicularly or at an angle. When the force is applied at an angle, for subsequent calculus we have to project it on uh, z and x axis and we'll get the corresponding forces using uh, trigonometric functions. And the uh, resultant forces, they derive from different types of loads applied on the structure. These loads can be uniformly distributed. Uh, here the resultant force is the product between the load's value and the length on which the load was applied on. And, uh, and the point uh, of application of the resultant force is at half the length the load was applied on. And uh, linearly distributed the forces. Uh, here the resultant force uh, is half the product between uh, the load's value and the length on which the load was applied on. Uh, the point of application of the resultant force is at one-third of the length the load was applied on or two-thirds the same length depending from which side we choose to see. Along with forces in our exercises we will also get to see moments, the second basic term I will uh, explain. Um, we can find out the value of a moment relative to a point in three ways. Uh, if there is a concentrated force acting on the structure, in this case relative to point A, the value of the moment will be the product between the force value and the arm of the force. Uh, if there is a resultant force acting on the structure, the value of the moment will be the product between the resultant force and uh, the arm of the force. We have uh, this value here uh, of 0 0.75 because first of all the load is applied on 0 0.5L so the application point of the resultant force is at uh, 0 0.25 L and the remaining distance to point A is um, 0 0.5 L. And the third way, um, if there is a concentrated moment applied in another point, the value of the moment relative to point A in this case will be the value of the concentrated moment given by the problem. The last topic I want to talk about is uh, supports. We will see three types of supports. A roller support, uh, it prevents movement in vertical direction. Here uh, only one reaction will appear in the center of the support when a force is applied. A hinged support, it prevents movement in uh, both vertical and horizontal directions. Uh, here two reactions will appear in the center of the support when a force is applied and uh, fixed support here all movements of the structure are prevented uh, therefore uh, three reactions uh, will appear one uh, vertical reaction one horizontal reaction and uh, one moment will appear in the center of the support when a force is applied all of these uh, fundamental terms presented in this video will be used further to solve uh, various types of mechanics of material problems.